The Burial of Sir John Moore at Karuna, Seawolf. Notes from the back of the book. After the capture of Madrid by Napoleon, Sir J. Moore retreated before Seoul and Ney to Karuna and was killed whilst him covering the embarkation of his troops. His tomb, built by Ney, bears this inscription. John Moore, leader of the English armies, slain in battle, 1809. The burial of Sir John Moore at Karuna. Not a drum was heard, not a funeral note, as his course to the rampart we hurried. Not a soldier discharged his farewell shot, or the grave where our hero we buried. We buried him darkly at dead of night, the sods with our bayonets turning, by the struggling moonbeam's misty light and the lantern dimly burning. No useless coffin enclosed his breast, not in sheet or in shroud we wound him, but he lay like a warrior taking his rest with his martial cloak around him. Few and short were the prayers we said, and we spoke not a word of sorrow but we steadfastly gazed on the face that was dead, and we bitterly thought of the morrow. We thought as we hollowed his narrow bed and smoothed down his lonely pillow that the foe and the stranger would tread o'er his head, and we far away on the billow. Lightly they'll talk of the spirit that's gone and o'er his cold ashes upbraid him, but little he'll wreck if they let him sleep on in the grave where a Briton has laid him. But half of our heavy task was done when the clock struck the hour for retiring, and we heard the distant and random gun that the foe was solemnly firing. Slowly and sadly we laid him down from the field of his fame fresh and gory. We carved not a line, and we raised not a stone, but we left him alone with his glory.